Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome, welcome to my Friday night stream. I hope everybody is well. I believe uh, Mushy is already in, one moment, and we shall just fix you up as my one and only moderator, now that Jack's not here at the moment. You seem to be missing your sub at the moment, so we'll sort that one out. There you go. <laughs> And the Oreo GIF works. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad that works. Hold on, where's my window gone? Let me just make that a bit bigger. Let me just close that down. There we go. And I can close that one down. There we are. All right, let's just move that over that side. There you are. Hello, Tavi. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you've had a good week so far. Oh, I also want to... Hold on. I think it's only right if we also add in... There we go. Have you as a VIP as well. I think that should work. There we go. We well, just got TSM update pushed. Oh, right, interesting. Um, I haven't seen. What's my TSM version at the moment? Let's have a look. We are 4.6.3. Okay, well, we'll have a look and see if there's anything interesting or new going on. But uh, thanks for the heads up on that one. Right, so this evening, what should we do? Well, we'll check the mailbox in a moment. I've had a whole week. I haven't been on since... Ah, oh, Sensors, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I haven't checked... Well, I've checked my mail since... Um, Monday when I was last on and I've just gone on for like 10-15 minutes each morning just to repost my auctions So I've made sure that everything's all, all, all right Oh right, doesn't lag so much. Interesting, Alatar. Do you do the uh, deleting of the WoW cache every now and again? Because that also helps um, that lag. So maybe maybe there was something missing there Yes, I didn't do Wednesday. I was a bit bit too tired really. Uh, I've, I struggle sometimes on some weeks because I get up at like 5.20 in the morning and I get to work at like half seven. So I tend to have pretty long days. So doing a stream till midnight can take its toll in time, unfortunately. So sometimes I don't quite have the energy to do a stream of a, of a night time, all depending on what goes on. Uh, you do have to delete the cache from time to time, um, but it's fixed many gremlins. Ah, oh, excellent. Good to hear. Well, I'll look forward to checking it out. Uh, let's start with a mailbox. We're in my garrison at the moment because I needed to get some temporal crystals this morning. Oh, <laughs> it's very kind of you to say so. We have Oreo with us tonight. He's lounging away, ready for his camera. He's quite sleepy today. So let's have a look at the mailbox first and foremost. And I believe, yes, I did a whole load of shopping this morning because I found some uh, embroidered deep sea satin for 13 gold. So I picked that up and it looks like we've had a few sales since I did that this morning. So let's pick up all my purchases and then fill all that up and then have a look. Sold again 10 fees for 2k each. Oh, very nice. I don't know how I've been doing with uh, feasts at the moment. Looks like a submarine floating in a bathtub. <laughs> yeah, he does look pretty enormous uh, in a garrison. Really nice though to see him in the daylight. Now completely out of them. All oh, right. I'm interested to see what happens with the 8.1 new feasts coming out. Um, I'm not a raider, so I don't have the... Um, the ingredient, the sanguine sanguicel that they uh, that the new feasts have, uh, so that's going to be interesting to see what that does to the price of the regular feasts. And it's also quite annoying because it's going to be split between two, a bit like the hex -free bags are split with the other bags. You don't think raiders are going to make them? I would wonder whether they would um, assign them to their own sort of guilds to sort of like make them for themselves. That's what I kind of thought though so that the guild would be more self-contained, was my thinking. You know, they might say, all right, okay, well, we we got enough for our own, so maybe we'll do it that way. Let's go reload. But then I'm not in a guild, so I don't know what, how it works. Um, 
You're looking at that earlier, may stock up on the mats. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's worth having them. Um, as a dual crafter, you have no use for yours. Ah, oh, right, so you've got some. That's a, that's a good start, I haven't got any. And you cook on that character, even better. Yeah, so it depends on what would the... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, TSM just updated and may not work properly until you restart WoW. Okay, one moment. Let me just um, close down my WoW and reopen it up. Hold on. Let's just exit out of that. And we'll reload it up. And then we'll come back with a new World of Warcraft. Let's just have a look. Let's get that loading up again. Uh, crafting story needed standard scope for the selfie quest on an account recently reactivated. Knowing the auction has on region markets 425. Quickly leveled an engineer and you're making scopes. Opportunity. Absolutely. That's seeing a market niche and going for it. I like your thinking. All right. Should you be able to go back? Um, I don't know actually, um, Mushy. It's just a new thing that Twitch has rolled out. It's a way of um, giving people kind of like uh, people who who hang around in the stream a long time or sort of um, it's kind of like a way of just giving them a bit more sort of extra an extra icon really more than anything else I think but uh, as my my long-standing moderator I thought you'd be the first person I'd give uh, VIP status to so there we go ah, right one too how are you thanks for stopping by how's your week been hope all has been well let's carry on with my mailbox opening whilst I do this because there are all these purchases to go through what did you miss? Not a lot at the moment. The IP is a stalker then. <laughs> you could think of it like that other time. Mm -mm. Been very good, thank you, right one too. I'm busy at work. Um, uh, didn't stream on Wednesday. Let's do a reload here. And then, um, what else have I been doing? Just basically just, uh, yeah, just going through family stuff really. Thank you, right one too. That was for uh, Mushy. As my long-standing moderator, I thought that she'd be the first one I give uh, VIP status to. You even know what the name was, Third Pet is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've been putting all my pet pictures in the um, in the pets corner on my uh, Discord, enjoying uh, everyone else's putting their pets on. Nice to see them. Alatar's cats have been very nice. I just going through all this deep embroidered deep sea satin, bought a load of that earlier, and then we've got our other sales from the week coming through. Uh, do one more reload, and that should get the rest of those through. Ah, uh, Lizard GM, how are you? Thanks for popping by. How's your week been? Hope it's been good. We're currently just running through all our purchases, and then we'll have a look at the mail that we got for the week. So, this is everything that I've sold since Monday. So let's have a look. Um, what's the grand total? Wow, that's quite good actually. 72,000. Um, what have we got here? So, two shadowy masks, um, some more honourable combatants gear. Now, I've changed my crafting operation of the honourable combatants to rather than making eight of each, I'm only going to make four of each. So, I'm kind of like scaling them down in anticipation for 8.1 coming out. And then we've got a hexweed bag. Uh, shirt, Elemental Force doing well. Ah, oh, there's some Bountiful Feasts, just singles there. More Honourable Gear, more Elemental Force. Coastal Surge, that was a good one. Another Hexweave Bag. And a few Lesser Enchants, a few Drums, and a couple of Tie Spray Linen. Okay, very nice. Ah, oh, Obsidiana, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, did the same, went from 10 to 3. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that one bro guy, thank you ever so much. Six months of subbing, thank you ever so much. That's incredibly kind of you. Oreo agrees with his twitchy feet. Thank you ever so much for your support. Let's see some uh, Summer Chef's hat in the chat for that one bro guy. Thank you ever so much. Really kind of you. I'm glad the, uh, the animated GIF works. How have you been? How's your week been? We're just enjoying our mailbox at the moment, 72,000. So I'm going to open up all of those, add that to my gold coffers. 
I'm not sure where that will take me in terms of total gold. We'll have a look in a moment. Now, I've done all my relisting this morning. I can do that within 10 minutes early first thing in the morning. So, how are we doing gold rise? Ah, oh, we're exactly 400,000 and 115 gold. There we are. You pull back on the 300 gear also. Uh, done well selling those 225 level braces to other crafters wanting to scrap them for it's awesome. Oh, interesting. I hadn't tried that market, but I can imagine that one working quite well. I need a whole load of braces to make. I could almost do with just spending a lot of time doing that because I have so much tie spray linen. 12,000 tie spray linen ready to make into braces because I've only got a couple of expulsum and I'm going to need a lot to go with my deep sea satin but I also need more marks of honour. I'm currently sat at 15. I'd like to get up to more towards 30 so I want to double that. So I'm looking to do some more PvP. I've been doing a lot of researching as to how to PvP. I've been following um, Hydromist who's a discipline uh, priest PvPer and uh, following his YouTube guides on how to PvP and just understanding how people do these arenas and the mentality behind it. So I've learned quite a few things so I'd like to try those out a bit later. Um, I feel like I hit a wall, wall with gold making this week. Not much moving. Oh, interesting sensors. I've had the, the same things have been ticking over for me. Nothing exceptional, that's for sure. It's everything does kind of like take a sort of like a, a steady, kind of like a low level uh, goal making at the moment. I'd say I'm at, at the moment. Um, let's let's head to Boralus so we can go to the bank. Uh, stocking materials, hence the market for cheap prices. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, TSM is bugging out for you. Okay, well we'll have a look. I haven't tried it yet since the update. I don't know what the new things are on the... Um, is there anything on the TSM website? Um, we shall have a look later. There we go. Uh, a lot of bots on your server lately. Herbs have dropped substantially. Oh, right. So your alchemy isn't profitable anymore. Ah, interesting. Is it worth picking up those herbs and stockpiling them for later? Is that something we could do? Depends how many of them are. Oh, I've got something to hand in here. Where are you? You're not here. You must be outside. What is the quest? Uh, supplies needed, deep sea satin. All right, we're going to ignore that one. All right, let's head on outside. That's around the other side. All right, oh, it's looking busy tonight. Lots of people. Would love some cheap herbs. Yeah, definitely. Post it in Discord general tab, uh, green again. Okay, uh, consider it, but uh, you've seen herbs for alchemy are being uh, reduced, so I'm not sure what will happen with prices. Yeah, they are getting reduced, aren't they? So maybe the prices will, in general, go down. Okay, so where are we at with the stuff we've done? What have we got emissaries wise? Ah, we've got Tortolan. We definitely need to do some of those. So I'm going to do that, I think, first. Get those ticked off. And then we'll, because I should, have I still got my WoW token anniversary? Or is that gone now? Looks like that's gone, unfortunately. But we still got our contract, so that's something. All right, let's go pop this lot in the guild bank first. Yeah, that was good for making, um, for making a good reputation, having that uh, anniversary. On the 30th at 9am. Aha, right, okay. Thanks for the info. Right, let's clear... Actually, let's put some of that Tide Spray in my regular bank. I've got a bit more space over there. For the spares. So let's pop this lot. Over there. And then Great Sea Catfish. Let's actually just pop all of this in. Just as a cheap way of just dropping that off. That, that, uh, Shalder Eye Silk as well. Um, I could do with sorting that out a bit more, but for now, we'll just drop the main things off and then clear out some more space over this side. Deep Sea Satin, Shalder Eye Silk, and some enchanting things here. Sorceress Water, Fractured Zalkeep, 
Lay lights I'll keep. That, that wild jade I'll get rid of. That can go in. And the rest of that will be fine. I'll keep the nylon thread. Okay, that's me taking off those lots. Take out the herbs in my bank. Yes, I do need to go through that. I won't go through that just yet. That's kind of going to be like a, a, a tidy up session I'll do a bit later. I want to carry on seeing if I can get some things ticked off here. Mainly, first and foremost, is trying to get myself this Tortolum reputation. So let's have a look. Where am I at um, in terms of Tortolans? Uh, let's just check there's no work order world quests up at the moment. I can't see any. So they're all normal. Um, so let's change to Tortolan Seekers. We have a couple in Zeldazar. So let's head over that way first. Like a make low go one. That would be quite good. Let's start with that and then work our way over. Right, let's go across on our boat get this lot done. Blowing the gilbonk, I'll just sell them for a high price. Yeah, not a bad idea actually. Oh, I should have gone up the other way. Up the uh, anchor. Oh well, around here now. Around here, up here, and take a ship over to Zolza. There we go. Yeah, we'll just something I could probably just do early on a Sunday morning uh, when it's quiet in the house. Just uh, do a little bit of uh, house cleaning. Or use them to level up a scribe. That's not a bad idea. Certainly not a scary one. I would like to have every profession, so that's definitely uh, definitely a possibility. Right, uh, flight master. You need something? Where are we? We are over there, we want to head over here, make low go, See you later. let's take our flight, and there we go. Still need, can use Legion Herbs for that, yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Alright, we're going to do this one. Um, oh, <laughs> I didn't realise there was a shell game just right where I went. Hmm, okay, I have to fly back to that one. That was a bit of a wasted journey, I should have done that one first. Should have checked the map before flying off. Oh well, we'll enjoy the view for now. So we are currently at 10,789 of Totolan Seekers. So a little bit more. And then we'll be uh, at uh, Revered. Which is what we want for our recipes, for our rank 3s. So that at least gets that done. Ah, uh, Marsbur, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Oreo really seems to be enjoying his new movie star job. Yeah, he does. He's really enjoying just uh, chilling out on the rug next to me whilst I stream. It's very, very casual for him. Do I bribe him? I bribe him with, uh, with affection. That's what he likes. Don't you, Oreo? He's just kind of gotten over me after a flea treated him a couple of days ago. Hey. But he enjoys the attention. There we go. <laughs> you saw a hedgehog today in the wild? Oh, fantastic. Isn't it a... Um a bit late in the year for them to be out in the wild, but nice to see one. I've seen one in the area I've been at a few months back. Um, hey, uh, that one and only uh, Sidwell. The only thing that's profit um, on enchanting for you now is the Seal of Haste, 18 gold profit, wow. Yeah, um, I've not had much um, profits of my enchanting because I'm not, I'm only at skill level 108 at the moment. Um, although saying that, my pacts are currently telling me they're a profit, and torrent is as well. But I don't think I've sold any of those. I've got some on. But the main things I'm selling 
are the older ones, the Elemental Force and Mongoose and Crusader and one each of the Legion ones. They still sell quite well. So those are the things that I'm selling, all the older stuff. People that, things that people are using for levelling. Uh, Craxy, how are you? Uh, just joined, any good mail today? Yeah, we had a good good mail, thanks for stopping by. Uh, 72,000, which from, that's mail since Monday, so a decent amount, quite pleased with that. Uh, we're in chance of 300 gold profits min to 1.5k, that is pretty nice, definitely. Where's the make logo? Are you inside here? Yes, you are. Okay. Have we still got aggro? No, we haven't got aggro. Right, okay. Um, it's all negative, even packed. Ah, ouch. Uh, next time you grab your hat and gloves uh, on the way out, uh, send it to a panner field. Next time you grab your hand gloves on the way out, send it to a panel field. God, what's a panel field? Um, resistance planned a huge field, so we enlightened, scrambled our car's mass, and went to the defensive actions. Completely ruined. They're fun. Lots of uh, smurf tears and frog cheers. <laughs> that sounds like fun, Mushy. Yes, I just read it now. You look like you've seen some action. Ah, oh, right, okay. Good luck. Right, okay. I don't think I've done this one. Um, right, we want... I take it we want the treasure chests on this. Um, right, so... Where's the exits? There. Right, I'm guessing I go round? Can I go round in a big loop? No, I need to go down there. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to need to go forward one anyway. So let's do that. And then... I want to end there. So I'm thinking if I go around here and then across, that would be the straightforward way to do it. All the way around. Uh, Tornado Genesis, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I just found my channel through YouTube and my TSM videos and my live. Oh, excellent. Well, I'm glad you found me. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found the YouTube videos useful. This is the live version where we are currently, me and Oreo, enjoying a bit of uh, Tortolan quest action where we're trying to get ourselves up to Revered, which we should do at least by the time we get the Emissary. All right, let's head on down here. Turn around and head through. And that should be that done. There we go. Low's initial success led to an okay. Sense of right, so we need to now fly back to where we were. So let's get our flight whistle. And then we'll head back to where we came in. And then we can do the other one. The shell game. That's just down the bottom. Now I should be able to turn that off. I was told. Um, add-ons, no, cancel, it's in interface, add-ons, world quest tracker, options, um, and go on top, refresh, untrack, share the add-on, zone flat, what was the thing I was looking for? No, it wasn't any of those. Maybe I can change it when I'm over there. We'll wait until we get over there and have a look. Okay, right. Flight Master. So we're heading back over to here, to the shell game. Go and do that. Yeah, he's very... Uh, he does like to uh, relax on his back. I think he's part um, ragdoll cat, which is uh, the kind of cat that just uh, walks two paces and then flops on the floor again. And he likes his rug. He likes to sleep on the rug. Anything soft and fleecy. And you can find him there. Right. 
Right, so, shell game, and then we need one more after this, so we can probably half back after that. Clean the rugs much better, no. A bit of gentle hoovering, and it's uh, just about okay, I think. Um, how are we doing for everything else? That's, um, I need the previous rank on that, which means I need to level up everything for that. Don't think I've got anything else. The Tolan Seekers is being done. Um, everything else is fine. Then when we go over to Kul Tiras, we'll need something here. Oh, we haven't done that. Is that the world boss? I'm assuming. Yes, it must be. That's something to think about doing. Get, give ourselves something extra to do. And we also got Make Logo as well. So maybe we can do both of those. Do that one and where was Make Logo? Oh, Honey Glazed Haunches. That could be an easy one. We could make those as it's over there. That will give me reputation. Can maybe do that one instead. Right, okay, so uh, shell game first. Need to head down to the south. Do pet battles too, they count as quests towards your four world quests. I've. Yes, I need to. Uh, I haven't done any pets. I haven't got any pets level 25. So I definitely need to look into the whole pet battle thing. It's something that I could see myself getting into. I've actually, I'm, I found myself really enjoying the idea of doing these arena PvPs. Um, I really enjoyed the three, the first three I did. Um, probably because I won the first one. Um, but it was good fun. And so with everything I've done research-wise, I'm looking forward to doing some more of those later. Right, okay. Shell game. I'm ready. I was hoping for World Quest Lock. Is that what I wanted to do? Lock? Resize. I wanted to just keep that off all the time. I think. I think that might work. Let's try it. Okay, let's go through everything. So red and glowing and that was easy. And then teeth and then one of those. Teeth and teeth. Ah, I saw you poking out there. You're the other one. And then that, it, no, that was red one. It wasn't that one. A shell. That one was down there. That I don't think I've had, because it's there. I was lucky. Now red was down here. Oh no, red was over here. Got that one wrong. You do that one and that one. And then this one's going to be shell, which is up here. And these two will be the last one. Uh, this site can help with pet battles once you get going. Uh, pet guide. Oh, okay, thank you for that one. Uh, use it faithfully whilst uh, setting notes and scripts. They have a simple way to add a script. You push a button A and it chooses the right thing to do. Sometimes you're lazy. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right, we're getting very close. Last bar. So uh, we're going to hearthstone back. We've done two of them. So we just need to make ourselves some honey glazed haunches, should be easy enough to do. So let's hearthstone back, and then we can have a look at doing that uh, world quest as well, whilst we're here. Might as well tick that one off. Have, uh, have the wall fronts gone live for Alliance EU? Is that another thing I can do now? No, not yet, okay. I have to wait for that again then. I've only done one so far. You're still making money with the turn ins. Ah, right, okay. Ah, Apple Man Live, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. 
Uh, we need to make um, some honey glazed haunch here. Um, how many do we need? We need, I've got four. Let's get um, our cooking window open. And Pierre, honey glazed haunches. We can make, oh, this will craft 10 for us because we've got the rank three. So let's queue that up. We need a meaty haunch and choral honey. We need five of those. We can pick those up on our mount. Let's go this side. And where is it? There it is. Let's just take one of those. Let's go head over to the guild bank and pick up the rest. Got stuck around there. Uh, Nix, good evening, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Have I got any fish left? I do have a fair amount, actually. Um, what's the turn in? Is it the great sea catfish? I'll have to have a look. Um, just looking for some meaty haunches at the moment. Meaty on this side. Lots of meaty haunches. Let's take some of those and then we can make, yep. Yeah. Great sea catfish times 60. Doing very well, thank you, Nix. Enjoying uh, the prospect of getting myself Tortolum revered in a moment once we've made ourselves some honey glazed haunches. Guys, cooking fire. I'm sure we got Pierre out. There we go. There's Pierre. There we go. That's that done. Just bought for 18,000 stuff. Wow. Okay, let's have a look whilst we're here and then we'll move on to carry on with the Tortolan. Um, I think they're... Oh, now they're in my... in my bank, actually. Great sea catfish I put in the bank, I believe. Not the reagent bank. In this one. Sure, I put some in. Great sea catfish. These ones. Let's just take those out for the moment. And we'll have a quick look and uh, see what price they are. And where's my bags? Put them there. Go to shopping. Shift click on the great sea catfish. So, ooh, that's at 53% of DB market. Not a great um, increase for me. I mean, I could ignore all of these and go to the 60 here, which is at 15 gold, which is not a huge amount. Um, I normally sold on average for 27, um, purchased for eight, so that is at least double. So I could put some on for this price. Let's have a look. What would we post on for? How many stacks could we do? 10 stacks, let's do less than that. Let's just do four. Let's see if any of that. Three stacks up for 35. Wow, 35 is super expensive. I'm not sure 35 would hold it. I mean, there's some down here at 18. There's a fair amount for 18 there. And then the one I'm going under here is at 15. I mean, there's a few stacks of 200 below that. There's a, uh, 42 singles there. So it's all scraps. Yeah, the 18 stacks of, uh, yeah, 19 stacks here at 60 is definitely going to stop things there. My average buy price is 8 gold. So putting them on for 15 is at least double of that. So I'm all right with that for the moment. I mean, I could buy some of these up, but they're not below my average purchase price, and I do have 1,200 of them, so I'll leave those as they are for now. And let's head on over to complete our Tortolan last quest. We'll also have a look at that world quest for the uh, Faceless Herald. See if we can get something nice there. It's 44 gold for you, wow. Okay, interesting to see how all the prices are different. So where's this one over here? I guess, um... So that's actually in the dungeon, isn't it? 
so that's not going to do me any good really. I'll ignore that one for now. Let's carry on over here and do this one. There we go. Let's enjoy the journey. All support 768 shell dry silt. That should be good for a good few uh, satchels. It's amazing though because it takes 90 for one satchel. Oh, is it not inside the dungeon? Okay. Oh, it would say dungeon, wouldn't it? Let's just have another look at that. Because normally, yeah, there's the dungeon, the Shrine of the Storm. You are correct. Price is very low on your server. Two gold for the catfish. Wow, definitely. You turn right just before the entrance and go up. Oh, it'll be interesting, actually. I don't think I've ever been there. Might have to give it a look just to see. We'll do this first. Let's get our reputation and then we can buy our uh, our recipes, which should be good. Oh, sorry, Ori, tickling your tail. Been months since you did it. All oh, right, okay. I always like trying new areas out. Oh, sorry, did I stop stroking you? He does like to get pampered, does Oreo. Right, how far away are we? Not too far. Right, so what else have we got on the agenda tonight? I haven't done any restocks or any of buying of things. <laughs> Oreo's back upside down again. It's his favourite orientation. Okay, let's hand this in. Okay, so, work order, honey glazed haunches. This should do it, hopefully. Um, still got our contract up, yep, okay. And we also get plus one cooking. And then... Ah, oh, that didn't count as one of my Tortolan Seekers world quests. Interesting. I thought that would do. Okay, so where's the last one? Make Low Go is just down further to the south here. Uh, oh no, it's a beachhead one. Let's do that first then. Right, okay. So, can we get a flight further down? We can go here, I guess. That'll work. Actually, this one's probably closer, and then we can work our way across. It might even be better to go to Make Low Go instead, actually. Because that's an easier one, rather than the beachhead. Let's not do the beachhead. Let's turn that one off. There we go. So far, you bought 10,000 uh, of Monolite Ore for the average of 27 gold. He made two items with it for turn-ins. Um, one takes 25, one takes 15. And they sell for 13, no, 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 no. Wow, that's pretty nice, Mushy. So, uh, what's that? Uh, 25 of those is 200 and... One takes 25, so that's, what is it? Uh, 270, 500, 700, it's a good three. 600 profit there. Very nice. Ah, Lord Lux, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Doing very well, thank you very much. 625. Yeah, pretty nice. Now now you're running out of monolite ore. Yeah, I'm not surprised after selling those. Alright, let's just ignore that one. Okay, where are we off to? Off this direction, it would seem. Let's ignore the spiders. Ignore these. Just head on round. Try and avoid as much as I can. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, I am ready. Okay, right. Where are we? We're here. 
Well, that seems fairly easy. Let's go around there and then straight down. Now that's the question. We have to go straight round there and up. Okay. All right. So one, two, three. Move over. Head on up. Ah, good evening, Kiefer. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. First time on live? Well, welcome. Well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube videos. We are currently on our way to Tortolan Honoured Reputation. We're just working through our last world quest. Well, it's not going to be our last one. I'm sure we're going to do more of them. But for now, this will at least get me the last one I needed. Hopefully. Welcome indeed to the live stream. Um, there we go. Easily enough. There we go. Oh, and we're so close. <laughs> 11,953 out of 12,000. Uh, so yeah, 12,000. So that's really, really close. Let's head on back and get that handed in. Um, search is only uh, for that exact uh, item name. Yes, that's is that something new in TSM? It should already be in there, exact. I'm sure I've used it before myself. Lord Admiral's favorite, so I do... Um, I think I have it in some of my favourite shopping operations. So you don't want to see the nuggets, only want to see the ore. Yeah, that's the sort of thing I look for. If um, there's something I just want to see the exact name of uh, what I've typed in, it's useful. Now, I've not done the beachhead one. I'm going to leave that one for now because I've got enough for the three for now. I'm going to carry on and then I'm going to go on over and do this one over here. I can't remember which of my favorite searches I have uses the exact. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look on my on my favourite searches. I've got bloodstained bone exact. I think if you do it automatically, it will always uh, TSM will put the exact in there for you. So all the, all of these nylon thread, red tail loach are all got exact on them. And then some of my own manual ones like shall or shortcuts that I put in, meaty haunch exact, stringy loins exact, tight spray linen exact. All my favourites have exact on them. That makes things quite easy. And this is also quite nice to do the uh, the armour searches for Veil Crystals and things. If you type it out, you get all the crafted items uh, made to tie spray linen. Yes, so it ends up being completely full. At least twice a day. Not sure yet what was fixed. No, I'm not sure myself actually, uh, Kiefer. I haven't seen the release notes yet. I believe Mushy posted them on the Discord though gonna have a look in a moment. I do have a sleeping Kekan. He's got the reverse end of Oreo at the moment. He is uh, facing away from us. I don't think uh, Cookie hasn't appeared yet either. Right, let's get this done. I'll go through this. Dotol and Seekers. We also get some Azerite. And we are at Honoured. Reputation. Oh, revered, sorry. Not honoured. We've just been honoured. So, there we go. Um, oh, it's much, much faster. Well, that's definitely good. Um, and the first time you don't crash every five minutes. Even better. Definitely better. I've not had many crashes myself, but... Uh, okay, here we go. Right, we need this. Rank 3 Galley Banquet. And what else can we buy? Bountiful Captain's Feast we already have. Rank 3 we'll have of that. And then we've also got uh, rings, a couple of rings here. Seal of Critical Strike. Seal of Versatility rank 3. They're going to be useful. And we'll take the Grilled Catfish and the Seasoned Loins. Thank you very much. Right, let's have a look at these. Rank 3 of that. 
Actually, let's get our cooking up so we can see it at the same time. There we go. So we are at now finally rank three of Bountiful Captain's Feasts, which now gives me a crafting cost of 1,200, which gives me a nice profit margin of 451 at current prices. Definitely good. Um, average buy for Thai Spray Linen is getting lower. Um, I don't have any on me at the moment to check. Get down to it's still at 9.3. I think I'm about 6 or 7 at the moment. Uh, Cali Banquet, let's get this one. Yeah, this one is definitely a good one. Takes a while to get, but I'm really pleased I can get all of these up. Seasoned loins. The rest of these ones that I don't have, I believe, are going to be World Quest work orders. And Seal of Versatility. That's that one done. Let's just close that down and reopen it up. Oh, thank you, uh, Glitter, for uh, the sub. Oreo thanks you as well. Thank you very much indeed. Let's see some chef's hats. Hold on, where have they gone? I've lost my chef's hats. There they are. Thank you ever so much for your support. Welcome to the Samadan Squad. And then that one we don't have. Um, oh, I missed your uh, message there, uh, Death Legion. Uh, back in the day when you used TSM, you could see what each match must cost max, but you see it's gone now, or do you know if it's placed in a new place? The the mats cost maximum. How do you mean? Because in the tooltip I have that, so if I go to my cooking, um, I've got the crafting cost down there, which shows me stringy loins times two, with the mat cost in there, and the fusaka is in there at 25 silver. And the mat cost is all coming out from my crafting reports, materials tab, all of these. So things like um, big gamey ribs is the minimum between all of these. Is that what you mean? Um, yes, I mean, I have to set that in the tooltip. If you go into uh, the settings here and go into crafting is it crafting? No, tooltip settings, here it is and then crafting and then show material cost here you can turn it on there in the tooltip that's what shows me what the material cost is for each thing and then I, I like to turn everything on for these crafting cost, list materials and tooltip, show material cost I like to have all three of those on so that when I do hover over something, I can get a good snapshot of uh, what the ma expected material costs for things are. So if I look at um, my Bountiful Captain's Feast now, and look at the tooltip here, uh, you can't quite see it because it's obscured by the chat, but uh, let's move this up a little bit. That should be easier. Oh no, it still hasn't got room for it. Let's move it right up the top. There we go. So now we can see the crafting cost is 1,200 and meaty haunch, 15 of those, 101 gold, cold tiramisu. And it's quite handy here to see what is the most expensive thing. Like here for me, it's the red tail loach at 709 gold. So if I go down here and look at my red tail loaches, saying the mat cost for an individual one is 47 gold, which is based on my market value of uh, 47. Now my average purchase price is actually more than that at 52 gold. I actually have 3,000 of them so I could do with buying some at a cheaper price to get that average down. But I need to use up a few more of those before that happens. So we'll uh, have to leave that as it is for the moment. But that's one thing done, ticked off, is at least the uh, reputation done for Tortolans to get those recipes. We can make our way over to Exalted in due course. Uh, let's go head over here to over here. 
Let's go take a flight. You're more than welcome, Death Leecher. I'm glad that helped. Alright, we're carrying on. So we're doing various things. Tonight, to meet um, little goals, really. So that was the first goal, getting to Tolum Rap. We've been working on that for quite a while. Don't get to catch me live very often, uh, but rewatch my streams and my TSM videos. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you, and thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. So we need to head over here to the right, I'm guessing. I've never been here before. So we're going to come down over here and down there, I guess. There's the, uh, there's the uh, thing over there. I'm not sure if I can actually reach that, in fact. It's looking fairly dangerous over there. We can go up there. I don't think we can get there that way. We need to head down this way. Okay, let's do some exploring. This is for the world quest here. Um, and then we're going to move on and we're going to have a look at seeing what I can do um, to learn about, about PvP a bit more and see if I can get myself some more marks of honour. Let's ignore these if I can. Now can I get down here? There's a scroll. Um, I'm guessing let's just go for a leap of faith from here and then we can head on over that direction I think that should be a good start that should we land about here perfect landing and then we can head on straight over here and then turn right maybe okay what's the fishing pool lane snapper Okay, let's just ignore these. Go around the side. This is just going to take me up further. I want to go more to the side. So I'm going to go around this way instead and swim for a little bit. Can we put our underlight angler on for the moment and swim and dismount? That'll be easier. We go a little faster here. There we go. Is there a breakpoint uh, like there was for Shadow Ice Help for Bracer Crafting? Yes, I believe there is, um, Fen the Human. I think. Now, what is it? Is it two gold or four gold? I really do need the War Talking Mount, definitely. Although I do have my um, Underlight Angler, so I'm quite happy about that. Right, where are we headed? Let's have a look on the map. Ah, we need to go over this way. We're on the beach now, at least. So, somehow we need to get up. Let's have a look. What can we do here? Maybe let's have a look at the map a bit closer. So I'm thinking straight up here then round. Looks like a more viable route. We can all these little lavas. I don't think it's down there, where it might be low down actually, because from looking at that, there's a little arrow on it. Oh, there's some people here, so maybe not. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Very nice model. Warbringer Yenaz. Okay, are there any... groups for it. Uh, let's have a look. Um, that one looks like it's starting. Let's join up. We must send this oh, and it's dead. Okay. Is everyone waiting for it to respawn or are they leaving? Let's hang on. Joined, left, 
joined left. Oh, it's respawned. There we go, that's useful. Let's just boost everyone up. Looks like everyone was waiting. Let's go stand here. Who's going to join in? Let's just move out a bit. Let's give myself a bit of screen real estate. Keep that going, keep that buffed. Looks like you've gone in. Okay, so shields up, shadow man. Oh, that was difficult. We uh, help out with a barrier at some point. Oh, ouch, that's going to hurt. Barrier right in the middle there for everyone. Let's move out the side. And then let's get a dot on and get my mind bender out. You can help out, just move out a little bit there. Help out with a few heals here and there if we can. There we go. Dot seems to be working. Let's smite a few. Let's dispel these people. Move outside of the swirly stuff. Keep my dot going. Put my mind bender back on. And then, oh, you need a heal, definitely. Try a shadow end. Oh, get pulled back inside. Root myself, I'm stunned. That's gonna hurt. Right, let's run back. Hopefully it's not too far. Where are we? Okay, yeah, that's not too far. Didn't quite have time to get my pain suppression off or anything like that before we had. Uh... Oh, I've still got my underlight angler on. That's not going to help either. Helps if I actually have the proper weapon rather than trying to attack from my fishing rod. Oh, there we go. More bringer was down. Now, did I get any loot from that one? Because I was dead. Or is it just the gold? Looks like it was just the gold. Okay, that's fair enough. We'll leave that and... Leave party. There we go. I didn't get credit. No, it looks like um, I've still got the world quest here because I was dead. Uh, so I'm going to have to requeue for that, I think. Let's try it again and not be dead the next time. Uh, let's try another raid, see if we can find one. Maybe that one. If you die, don't release, then you get the credit. Oh, okay. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for the heads up. Well, let's see if we can just help out with this, like a tiny amount. There we go. That was an easy credit. We cannot stand idle while the abyss corrupts our land. That was easier. Okay, now we're going to leave party. Okay, that one's done. So, I don't think we got anything for that. Let's make sure we put our weapon back on this time. Okay. Right, so other things on my list of things to do tonight was uh, some PvP arenas. I was going to see if I could learn a bit more about how to play these arenas and how to uh, try and get better at doing them. So first up, let's just queue up for one and see what they're like at the moment and see what my my usual key bindings are, the one, two, three, four, five and my way of uh, dotting at the moment and using tab to select people. So let's have a look. Uh, what have we got on the adventure guide? Oh, there's a brawl. 
actually. That will give me a foot locker. And now that's changed things up actually. Um, because this uh, should give me five marks of honour, I believe. Yes, it does. Five marks of honour. Well, we want to do that. There we are. Um, hey, Goblin Academy, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. How about yourself? Okay, no worries, Mushy. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. Only working on the weekends. Well, you do good work, that is for sure. Uh, good idea to want to learn more about arenas. Um, it's the insane uh, arena players who are best avoided. <laughs> yes, I don't think I'm up to their, uh, their level of PvP, definitely. But the thing is, um, what I want to show is that anyone can do anything if they put their mind to it. And if you enjoy it, then you know don't let that put you off and, and go for something. I mean, obviously my reasoning behind doing something is going to be for uh, the marks of honor so i've got my my goals and my my targets as to why i'm doing these certain things like getting the reputation for dot hollands and this is getting the marks of honor so if that means doing brawls or doing pvp then so be it you're doing well uh thank you a lot i've been pvping a lot have you excellent um i've heard a lot of people saying they've been really enjoying it at the moment all right, whilst we're waiting, let's head ourselves back to a flight point, I think. It's probably the easiest way to get somewhere. Oreo's left for the moment. Hopefully he'll come back soon. So, other things we could do. Uh, been on your desk staring at Oreo, and uh, just before Oreo jumped out of camera, Try to bounce the monitor. <laughs> That's brilliant, Ricardo. I like that. Seeing fellow cats and getting worried. Um, right. Uh, I guess we could take a flight or we could Hearthstone. Where do we want to head next is the next question. We could probably have a look whilst we're here just at uh, auctions at the moment. Seeing as we do have the mount. Uh, Daniel, how are you? Doing very well, thank you very much. We're just queuing up for a Brawler's Guild um, to get five marks of honour at the moment. I've uh, got a few things here about to expire. Everything else is doing okay. Shopping wise, let's have a look at a few things we could maybe look at buying. So BFA mats is one of my things on my shopping list. So the thing I'm looking for here is to see if I can get some embroidered, embroidered deep sea satin for a cheap price. Uh, cheaper than deep sea satin if I can. That's the main thing. Tie spray linen down to 4 gold 26. My average purchase price is actually 4 gold 55. So that's decent. Now embroidered deep sea satin is kind of, wow look at the price of that. Deep sea satin has been reset up to 36. That's massive. Now, the embroidered is much less at 104% of my average purchase price. So people aren't really using this. Oh, Oreo's back. People aren't using this yet, but it is required in the Sinister Combatants gear that's about to come out in 8.1. So I'm trying to get as much of it as I can at a decent price before the price goes up. So I'm gonna buy some more of this whilst it's here. I think I'm going to get all of this lot up to 15. Oh, Mr. Tedfellow, thank you very much. Being subscribed for uh, four months. Finally caught me online. Well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. Uh, and thank you indeed for your continued support. Let's see some chef's hats for uh, Mr. Deadfellow. Thank you very much. We just celebrating by buying some deep sea satin everything up to 1560 i'll take i know that's going to take my average slightly higher but i'm going to just keep the prices high really 
and keep my stock levels high because I'm gonna I'm gonna need this stuff. I'm not gonna buy that 200 at 19 though. Oh, there we go. Ready to join the deep six. Okay, got no idea what to do here. Uh, this is a 6v6. Every time we go live, you work early next morning, so go to bed around the time you go live. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, that. Ooh, now this is one of my new add-ons that I tried to help out with battlegrounds. Now, how do I move it? Control shift. No. Okay, hold that. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, Kiefer, thank you very much also for being subscribed. Welcome to the Seminar Squad. Oh, that's right in the middle. That's going to be. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Alliance and Horde players. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Let's move that over here. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to do. Let's just do that. There we are. So, yes, thank you, Kiefer. Very kind of you to use your sub to the Samurai Squad. Let's have some chef's hats for Kiefer. Thank you very much indeed. So this one is... Um, what did I have? turned on. I was going to try this one out. This is called uh, Battleground Enemies. So it shows me what everyone is and what class they are and their health. So it looks like it could be quite useful. So I'm going to move this over here. Somewhere there we go. Uh, Battleground, Defender, HHTD, Healers Have to Die. <laughs> and capping. Ah, right, okay. And then I've got some other things, other add-ons I'd like to try out for arenas. One's called... Um, I'll show you in a minute after I've done this. Um, one's called um, S Arena, and another one's called Omni Bars. So, we're having a look here anyway. Okay, let's try and stick with everyone. and see if I can do my best just to stay with everyone I'm sure I'm going to get targeted as the healer but if we stick together and I stay in the background right so I'm going to use my shift tabbing to just dot people up and keep my shields going There we go. Cat straight on me. Let's come in with a fear. Now I have to remember my, my trinkets, which I've got down there at the bottom. Where is everyone? Oh, help you out. Oh, I've been feared. Let's see if I can line aside myself out of here. Just round to the corner. must be down here. Keep you alive if we can. Oh, I've been polymorphed. At least I kept my flag bearer alive. And let's get some dots going. everyone. That window's right in the middle of my view. That really doesn't help. Let's get a um, psychic scream going on people. That doesn't work. Let's get a shadow mend on myself. I'm wholly locked so I can use my shadow mend. Let's get that going. Oh, that's going to hurt. I've got a pain suppression. Let's get out of that one. Okay. Okay, that shows me and various people. I hadn't really been looking at that. Okay. It does take up a lot of real estate. It gives a lot of information. I actually hadn't been looking at it. I was focusing so much on my stuff on the left. I didn't really see this stuff. Maybe there's a way I can uh, make it a bit smaller. Okay, let's go over and join the fray. Their healer looks like they're uh, fairly low. If we can target their healer... Oh no, they're... Oh, 
Let's come in here and come in with a psychic screen. There we go. See if that will help. And if we line the sight out a little bit. Oh, we've got death gripped in there. That's not going to help. Trying to take everyone on on myself was a bad idea. <laughs> Definitely a bad idea. I think Oreo agrees. Right, okay, so learning from this, uh, we've not been looking at this at the moment. Group up, yep, definitely a good idea. Don't run in on my own. Right, everyone's coming in now, so let's join in. Let's stick with these two. And then make sure that everyone's together. Now we don't want to be coming in sporadically because they've got the whole whole section. I can try and help you out, but you're out of range. That's not going to help. And I don't want to get gripped down into there. So let's just see if I can help people out from a distance. Yeah, that's not going to help. There we go. I thought I'd get gripped. everyone in on there. I've got to make sure that I'm out of the way. I'm going to reload. Yes, I had that um, just as I started the stream. Oh, thank you, Agent Rusky. That is very kind of you. Um, for two months, uh, Chef's Top hasn't come by post, yet he's told um, be Chef's Top for all. <laughs> thank you ever so much for your support. It's very kind of you. Let's see some chef's hats. Uh, Agent Rusky. Thank you very much. Alright, where is everyone? I think we're going to lose this. So I'm not sure about this add-on. It is pretty huge. Everyone's all around here at the moment. come outside and I got gripped. Not a lot I can do about that. I die rather quickly. Just gonna wait for them to come through. Don't need the add-on for the horse hit points they're not moving. <laughs> yeah exactly combo. They're doing absolutely fine themselves. The thing is, we haven't regrouped together, so um, everyone's just running in and getting picked off one by one. And so, here we go, you can see someone just dying quite quickly. So that's not a surprise, really. So I'll leave that battleground. Ah, uh, Nox, good evening to you, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well, start of your weekend. Okay. So whilst that was good, what we really need to do now is hand in the quest and get ourselves five marks of honour. That was the main reason for doing that. That was a quick way of doing it, I think. Um, let's have a look. Ah, Robot Evix, thank you very much for using your Prime. Really, really kind of you. Welcome to the Sam Dance Squad. Here is a whole load of chef set for you to use as you like. Fix some issues with the mailing operations. Oh, that's good. That's useful. So yes, thank you again for stopping by. Um, now, was this the one I wanted? Something different. Hmm, interesting. Thank you for the t videos on TSM. Very helpful. Oh, you're more than welcome. I'm glad you found them useful. Now, do I need to actually win a quest for that? Or did I just not start the quest? I'm sure I started that quest. Aha, yes, I have to actually win one. Okay, I have to win a PvP brawl. Okay, well, there we go. So that changes things up. So we better do another one then and hope we can win it. Now, before I do another one, um, I'd like to offer this out to anyone else who'd like to join me on this brawl. 6v6, we may stand a better chance if we all coordinate together. If there's any EU Alliance players that would be interested, um, they're more than welcome to join in. I 
Blizzard PvE boss. <laughs> uh, Enjoying on your priest, but ages since you did PvP. But you are NA. Ah, uh, yes, that's a shame. I'll have to start an NA character so I can do things with my American friends as well. I mean, I don't mind just starting the PvP anyway and see if I can get a win. You never know. It all depends on the horde players we're up against, really, and how coordinated we are as alliance. What I'll do is I'll queue up for one and see how quick it takes. Join battle. And then whilst we're waiting for that, we can do a bit of restocking. So let's have a look. Um, now we've restocked on most things recently. I'll just do a quick check. Make sure I've got everything done. Let's take tailoring off. Go to enchanting, restock. Yeah, I've done, I've done most of my restocks already. So, looking at this... Coordination says alliance, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm ever hopeful. You never know. So, whilst I'm doing that, I can maybe have a think about how I'm going to um, improve my PvP. So, I've got some add-ons, like we saw. I've got that... Um, battleground um, enemies. I wasn't sure how useful that was, so I might turn that one off for the moment. Um, now the other things is an Omni Bar, tracks enemy cooldowns, and S Arena, which um, enhances arena frames. Now that's probably not going to be as useful to me until I'm doing actual arena arenas. Let's do a just a quick reload to take that other one off. Ori is being silly. <laughs> You're having fun, Ori, aren't you? Can use battleground enemies for targeting players. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I did use that for targeting their healer. Maybe I just need to give it another look. Maybe if there's a way I can make it a little bit smaller for my interface. He's my my nickname for him is Fluffmorn. Fluffmorn hungers. Isn't that right, Ori? All right, let's just have a let's give that another look. Actually, let's bring it back on. Uh, Add-ons, battleground enemies, and we'll have another look at it. Uh, do disc priests or arcane mage battlegrounds found using uh, battleground defender most helpful? So when you're on a flag and incoming, you click a button and it posts to the raid what's coming, one, three, or more if we are safe. So you don't have to type even in fighting. Ah, interesting. Okay. I'll have, have, a, have a look for that one. Um, just post the raid and time with some bunkers and flags and whatnot. Okay. Right, so um, let's just have another look at this. Uh, do we have interface, add-ons, battleground enemies? What do we have here? Um, font... Um, Disables the arena frames in a battleground. Also works when S Arena is installed. Uh, focus color, highlight color, enemies, alpha, range indicator, allies. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, battleground size, one to fifteen players. Toggle test mode. Well, wow. okay. So, that's really big. I'd want to be able to uh, scale this down somehow. Font isn't really going to be that useful to me. And I can't see anything that's actually going to give me anything to change the size of things. Oh, okay. Let's join the battle. Let's see what happens. Playing a possum. <laughs> it does look like he is. Okay, let's uh, cancel that. There we go. Return to game. Oh, 
obviously Oreo's reaction is how you come with family affairs. <laughs> well, let's just move that over. Maybe if I put this further down. I mean, I don't have a particularly high resolution. Maybe that um, that's a factor here. Let's just keep that uh, nice and small. We can buff people up, mount myself up. So we can see they've got a healer, a tank, and then three DPS. And the same here. There's actually one less horde player by the looks of things. Or maybe they're just not in range. Ah, there they go. They just popped in. So let's move that up a little bit. And then we can see everyone side by side. Give me an idea of things. Yeah, it would be nice. Okay, so I can... Oh, if I right-click on them, I get... Um, what have I done there? I don't think I really wanted to do that. Can I turn it back off? No. Um, no, is that the focus thing? If you focus someone, maybe. Hmm. Not sure about that, yeah. Right click on the portrait. Ah, oh, there we go. Clear focus. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah, I don't use focus yet. Something I've yet to learn. Right, let's go on. Or oh, slash clear focus. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really want that being in the middle. So let's stick on. Uh... I haven't tried that yet, no. Alright, let's stay over this side. Alright, here comes people. I'm going to stay in with you. Invalid mm -hmm. target for... Let's just get the smites down. Maybe a schism. Get some dots going. Oh, you need some help. Let me just join in. There you go. If I can, just let's go a bit further back here. Maybe if I can line the sight out of things for a little bit. Let's just get some shadow men's going here. Just going to stay out of the way. And keep on the healing. Let's help out with some mind benders. And don't forget your penances as well. Just going to stick close to my bearer of good news. And a shadow mend. And I'll just try and stick out out the side here a little bit. Oh, there's someone there. Let's just keep everything going. And I got this in the middle here. That doesn't really help me. I wonder if I can do something about that. Everyone's outside there. Here they come in. They're going to go for me. Let's just stick a barrier down here. Stay in here and you'll be fine. Got stunned on that, unfortunately. Uh, can I have pain suppression out of that? Maybe I can psychic fear? Not quite yet. Shield up on that. Shield up on that. Give myself a penance if I can. No one else has joined in here. Let's just go join over here. Give you a shield, penance, shadow mend. Shadow mend, there we go. Shield. Keep that going. Penance. Shadow mend to help out on that. Just want to stay down here. Let's go watch out for 
targeting here now. Get some dots going. Stay out of the side. And then I can just make sure everyone's doing better this way. Get that going. Get some dots going on everyone. Make sure everyone's alive. Who have we got in the middle here? Let's just start with some smites. Ah, you're back in here. Let's help you out. Heal you up. Oh, that was a big hit. I couldn't help you there, unfortunately. Might think about doing a dot, uh, not a dot, a uh, psychic scream at some point. I can see a whole load of chat going off. Unfortunately, I can't quite concentrate on that just yet. I'll have a look afterwards once everything's finished off. Right, where's everyone else? Let's go pick up that. Let's stay together. Now I'm just going to make sure that we're all zoomed out, can see everyone. Oh, I think I better move out of the way of that. That looks fairly. Uh, oh, I think I've got targeted and rooted. I think they're going for me. And shield myself and shadow mend. Let's come in here with a psychic screen. That should help out. And then some dots, some shields. Shadowman was quite slow there, actually. The one I can give a mind bender on. I'll help out with my atonements. Get an atonement on a few people, and then move out of the way of there. Got some cooldowns coming up soon. Let's see if I can help out with those. I'll watch out for myself as well, actually. Give myself a heal. Let's get some dots on some enemy players. And ooh, you need some healing if I can just get that off. I haven't got any other cooldowns to help you out with, but I'll try and keep you alive if I can for just a moment. No, unfortunately not. Let's get some dots going on you and you. I should at least get that going. Shield myself. Right, how are we doing? You could do with a penance if possible. There we go. And right, let's have a look. A uh, shield on you, perhaps? Can I go pick one of these things up? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's go have a look. I've got no idea what I've just done to myself. There they are over there. Get that going, get a penance going. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. That was easier. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> Let me just go have a look at chat because I completely uh I completely missed everything. Let's just go further down. Uh, apologies to everyone who came in. Um Right, uh Right, where were we? If you I will kill Mr. Potato, quite likely. I'm struggling with a few things. Um, uh, UI is the least performance impactful thing you could install. Memory hog doesn't work with TSM. Okay. Uh, I know um, Mushy uses um, LVUI, definitely. Uh, Solid Lobster, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Apologies I couldn't say hello to you earlier. Um, other than default yourself, I think actually never found you really needed. Yeah, exactly. I've, I like um, I like the standard user interface. Uh, punish the enemies, often more powerful uh, than damage them. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't been using Purge the Wicked. I need to have a look at my talents, actually. That's the next thing to do. I feel like back in the day where all the things broke on expansion release. <laughs> yeah, I remember those right one too. Everything would break for ages. They blame it for everything. Yeah, sometimes. Um, I'm not sure how it's working BFA, but you can dispel a shield instead um, if you have to do the damage. Yes, um, I have got that, um, the decursive thing down here, which is quite handy for that. Let's go and drop this last set, shut up and watch. Not as great as a healer to get orbs. Ah, right, okay. Um, so worth not worth doing that one. Um, 
Um, I haven't had any problems uh, Nabas, at the moment, actually. Not that I've encountered. Oh, sorry, Ari, am I not giving you enough attention? Uh, you need bartender. Couldn't do without a standard uh, user interface. Uh, need four blocks, three by four buttons. Um, just doesn't look right with standard. Fair enough. All right. Ari is enjoying his... Uh, Time. I'm not sure if you can actually hear him. He's purring away. I don't think I can move my microphone down further. Right, okay, so we've done all of that. Let's go hand in that quest. Oops, wrong button. And now we should get five marks of honour, which is really, really handy. That's the main thing I wanted there. And a Dread Gladiator Seal. Okay, that's an improvement. Let's go grab that. And pop that on one of my rings. Doesn't really matter which one. And then I'll disenchant the one I've got. And get myself a Veiled Crystal. Very nice. Hey, Keturus, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How have you been? Um, all good. Uh, see, much more prevalent on servers than others at the moment. Yes, I guess it depends uh, where whoever it is is set up if they're inclined to make bots. I've not really. Uh, oh, excuse me. Just gotta stretch my legs out. I've not really encountered that much myself. Um, but then Shadow Song is pretty uh, low population. I'm not sure any bots would really bother with us. We play piano grade three, grade. Grade 8 and get rotations in well, um, thinking more than six buttons. Um, so you don't want to complicate things. That's a good idea, actually. Um, you got gum disease, you found out yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, or it is going in for the, going in for the pounce. <laughs> I was too close to the belly. You're right, or is. He did the old hook hook himself round the arms. Uh, buying so much ghost iron ore from the bots. Yeah, um, I've not really um, experienced or seen that much myself, but I have heard tales of it. Okay, so... Oh, we've got some um, boxes to open as well. Um, Champion Strong Box gives me 99 gold and a supply cache, which has a few things in there. That's good. And a steel strong box gives me a dread aspirant's cord, which is a 340 waist, which is also an upgrade to my 310 honorable combatants gear. So let's disenchant that. And now we should be up to, where are we at? Um, eye level wise, 343. Wow. Getting there, definitely. Gum drops as he's buying ghost iron. Yeah, <laughs> um, he does. It, Gum drops has bought absolutely loads, like twenty thousand or something, hasn't he? Um, and your servant moment and one person with twelve thousand spirits of harmony. That's a huge amount. Nine hundred sacks of tide spray, and one point four gold each. Wow, that's amazing. You could turn those into braces, and um, no, is it braces? No pants. You could turn them into and vendor those, and that should be. Uh, Easy, easy gold. You bought 25,000. Wow, <laughs> okay. Are you on the same server as Gumdrops? Um, what else have we got here? Let me just check. Um, wasn't going to do that one. Deep Sea Satin. I got Set Sail, uh, Win an Island Expedition. Oh, just gone mental. <laughs> He's just literally just rolling around everywhere now. Interesting he chose to go back in front of the camera though. All right, okay, nameplate's back on. There we go, wrong button. So, um, other things we could do. How are we doing for Marks of Honor now? So we are at 22, which is pretty good. Um, okay, Sensors, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Enjoy your dinner. 
I think I'm going to try a PvP arena. See if we can get a bit better at doing those. So, what I'm going to do is turn on the arena frames. Because I don't think that um, battleground one was quite so uh, useful. So I'm going to turn that one off. And I'm going to turn on S Arena just to have a look at it. And reload the UI. Oh, congratulations, Snox. A joke went over the head. Oh, did I miss something? Uh, brought a long ball, your joke went over its head. <laughs> um, did I miss him? Told, told a joke to a giraffe went over my head <laughs> right I see I'm with you that's how you set up your bartender here yeah, let's have a look at this oh wow that's uh, that's interesting very minimal nice I'm not sure how I'll get used to that myself personally, but definitely good. Yeah, definitely buttery, go ahead. Winding up someone else, sorry, no worries, Nox. All oh, right, yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty clean. I can see how it's moved everything out. What resolution are you playing at? Because I'm like at 1300 by 768, so I'm quite low resolution when it comes to uh, actual um, World of Warcraft interface styles. I could scale the interface down, that's something I could do. I was wondering work if you're still smashing buttons and don't use any special gimmicks other than the mouse. Oh, that was something I did want to turn on, actually. That's reminded me. In interface, I wanted to do um, something for my cooldowns. Status text, chat bubbles, action bars. Show numbers on cooldowns, that's it. I wanted to turn that on, see what that looked like. Okay, so let's try let's try a few things. Let's see if we can improve our arena skills a little bit. Oh, I didn't actually realise the time there. Quarter past midnight. Let's try um, let's try one arena. See how we go for that. Numbers on cooldown is good. Yeah, I think so. Um, what I want to do is have a look at some of the things I do and see if I can learn a few things from the other um, PvPers. Oh, that's very kind of you, Butteroo. I'm going to keep with as much standard interface stuff as I can for the moment. Um, does S Arena have a command? S Arena, here we go. Um, there's the options that were removed in the past. Uh, Aura Watch, Profiles, Racials, Help, Test Mode. Ah, so this is what it looks like. Okay, that does look interesting. So we've got various things going on there. What does it all mean? We've got the three different players. Whatever, um, that was the... Um, the thing that's the diminishing returns, I think. And then we've got um, racials there with their cooldowns. Whether their status, whether they've been feared or not. And I don't know what these are. I wonder if there's something we can do there. And I can control shift click on things to move them. Like that. I think. Can I move these? Maybe not. Move the whole thing. Don't know if that's helpful or not. Can't move those. 
Can I move these individual things? So I can do the whole thing. I can do the little things. Or I can do that one as well. But I can't do all of them. Just trying to work out what I can move and what I can't. Hmm, okay. What else have we got here? What's useful? In terms of information. Uh, did I get any sales on the wall front? I did got a few things. Um, nothing massive. Um, from what I remember. I always wait time one minute. Oh, there we go. Ready? Uh, um, let's join the battle. Have a look. Um, whoops. Lost the button there. Hold on. Yeah. Pulled out my uh, ooh, pulled out my microphone, uh, not microphone, my headphones. Right, what have we got to do here? Let's heal people up. Uh, questioning epic dungeon tips. That doesn't need to be on right now. Minimise that. Okay, where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, so we've got our things over here. Let's move these somewhere where I can see them better. And those are the other players, there and there. Uh, let's mount on up. I haven't checked my... Um... Now I need to stay out of the way a little bit here. Let's give people... Uh... Let's just stay out of the way. Just keep running. That should work. Now let's just make sure line of sight works well here. And then let's get a mind bender going on that. And then let's get some dots coming down on people. One person's down. Yeah, as long as we stay out of the way, this should be fine. <laughs> that was quick. Okay, steel strong box and extra con conquest. That seemed quite good. Let's queue as a team if we want to. Close that down. We don't need this though. Let's move that down somewhere. Let's minimise that. Move that down to the bottom somewhere. Didn't need that one there in there. Uh, where's everyone gone? Leave arena. Um, okay, so we got you got the Razor Naga. Um, Da, da, da. Yeah, I haven't tried a Razor Naga. Um, I was just smashing it through, of course, uh, numpad two at times. Oh, okay. Uses less than 40 megabytes. Okay. Not a bad amount. So that was pretty good in terms of a um, arena. I did quite well on that one. Um, although I don't think the other teammates are with me on that. So what could we have done better there? What was useful? I mean, I didn't really see the two things down the side that much. I used my tab for most of my targeting. Not sure if that's the most efficient way. I heard people using F1, 2 and 3 for their uh, targeting of different players. That could be something I could try. And I'm not fully um, happy with the way I've got my cooldowns set. Also, there's my specialization in talents. We could look this up. I've got everything down here, Mindbender. And then there was other things I could do here, like, um, I think Archangel's supposed to be quite good, and Dark Archangel. Damage, um, how is your atonement for eight seconds? Archangel, refresh the duration of your atonement on all allies when cast. 
for those two things might be quite good. Dome of Light reduces the cooldown of power with barrier by 60 seconds. That could be quite handy. What have I got at the moment? Uh, Radiance uh, is now instant cast and the healing done is increased by 200%. Powered Radiance. Um, I haven't used much at all, in fact. Burst Light heals the target and 400 allies within 30 yards of 5,000 and applies atonement on them. Now, I've not been using that so much. Uh, let's have a look at that a minute. Okay. Um, Yes, using the modifiers like Control, Alt, and Shift would be definitely good. Um, I've heard people using like a sort of like a um, heal or harm thing. So you would do either a shield on yourself if you're targeting yourself or you're another player, a friendly player, or if you're targeting an enemy, then you'll do something like a smite or a shadow word pain. So you can use the same button and a macro setup to do the two things. I've heard of that. I haven't set that up for Sam yet because I need to work out what's going to be best here. But in terms of actually things like this, uh, Powered Radiance, have I actually got that on my uh, Voodoo? Let's just check that. Powered Radiance might be quite useful. Where's my spells? So my main ones, Shield, Penance and Shadow Mend, I use a lot. Alt is, yeah, Alt is Powered Radiance. Alt and Right. Okay, so I'm not using that so much. Alt and right. I see. And it's got a couple of charges. That could be useful. Just to get people sort of uh, set up. So I have to try and remember that in this battle. See if we can use that a little bit more. Okay, let's try this again. So we're all kind of learning, I mean, Discipline apparently is going to get nerfed quite a lot in 8.1, so I'm not sure how much useful this slot's going to be long term, but it's worth a go, just from a learning point of view. Alright, let's get everyone up, and then let's have a look at... Have a look. So we got uh, two of them. Don't know what they are actually. I need to recognise the icons. That's the other thing to think about. Yeah, so that's what I heard. Um, right, one, two. Is that um, certainly from a PvP perspective, they are getting. Uh, they are getting rather nerfed. Right, okay. Silence. Oh, there we go, they've gone straight for me. Let's just move myself out of the way. Definitely different players here. Shield myself. Mindbender. Try and get them out. So that get some dots going. Okay, that's that. They were concentrating on me too much. They didn't uh, take into account. There we are. A few people. And one left. Well, that was quite good, that power word radiance. That was very nice. Okay, that seemed to work. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, you mostly PvE. Um, PvP at times, not much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing. Is um, I think... I don't know what, how much of it's set in stone. But definitely... Uh, worth looking up. Okay, so another Mark of Honor and another Mark of Honor. So if you win at arenas, it seems to be quite uh, easy. Oh, I've done it again. My headphones all wrapped up around me. Hold on. There we go. Let's just move that out of the way. 
So if you win at PvP arenas, you seem to be able to get Marks Upon a quite quickly and easily. So we're up to 24 already. I don't think I want to do too many tonight, so I might leave it at that for now, I think. Because it's quite late already, and I've got a busy weekend ahead of me. So I think we've made some good progress today. We got our Tortolan recipes and our Tortolan reputation up. We got a whole load of Marks of Honor. All our auctions are on. We got 70,000 gold. We bought a, few, a fair few things. I need to make a whole lot of Expulsum. So we've got the tie Spray Linen to do that, so that's good. And then we've also upgraded our equipment up to item level 343, so doing quite well on that front as well. Um, we've got a few dungeons and things and stuff to do uh, as well as that. Now I was going to do some uh, Samadan story time at the end of the stream, but I think it's a bit late tonight to be doing that, because it's already half past midnight for me. Arena also gives a good amount of gear. Yes, that is that is true, uh, Daniel. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what kind of things I might get as drops from that. So definitely worth a look at. But I think what I'll probably do is finish up here for tonight, um, and then we'll uh, see where things are at on Sunday when I'm next on, and then see if we can do some more PvP, get some more Marks of Honor, Maybe if I can learn a bit, um, if I have any spare time um, between now and then, try and get those add-ons worked out a little bit better. So let's see if we can throw a host on to anyone who's on at the moment. Um, now, there's someone I haven't seen in a while. Um, we have Canadia TV. I haven't seen them on in a while. What are they up to? Let's have a quick look. Let me just have a quick look. Gold farming and LAC. Let's just wait for the advert to come through. Right, okay, let's send a host over to uh, Canadia TV, who is doing a uh, sort of Looter Prader challenge. So, continuing with the cold farming theme, um, slash host. Oh, I've got caps on. Don't think it matters, but I don't like to shout. There we go. So thank you everyone for hanging out tonight. Thank you all for your subs and your company tonight. It's been really, really appreciated. Um, thanks for your help with all the add-ons and the images and interface stuff. Uh, I look forward to checking those out. Um, and next up will be Sunday. So I shall hopefully see you all then. Until next time, have a great weekend. And we'll send a host over to Canada. Good night and farewell.